Hey guys, welcome back to Wobble Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video, guys. We'll be doing a product review about a scanner that, in my opinion, everybody should have one of those or something similar to that. Put it in your glove box for peace of mind, guys, because if your light come on, engine light come on, you can always find out what's wrong. It's going to teach you how to fix it. You can check live data. You can check if your vehicle is ready to pass emissions and all that stuff. So uh, before we start, let me tell you a little bit about it, guys. If you need to check out where to get it from and how much it costs check out the link in the description of the video below uh, if you need to buy any parts tools for your car we'll share links in the description as well now let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep making these free videos for you so let me go ahead and connect that scanner to the obd port okay i'm going to connect it quick and show you okay where it is now and let me go ahead okay and okay perfect it's plugged in let me go ahead close the door quick okay that's great and now if i go ahead and start this bmw now guys you will notice okay that it starts a little bit slow and engine light stays on okay and that's the scanner okay right there so uh, you can see that's what we'll be using to reset that uh, that light on so now let's go ahead and see okay what we need to do to take care of that problem and see if we can actually fix it so pretty simple guys now what we're we going to do turn the car off now turn it without starting the engine turn until the lights dash lights come on if you have a key to the second position if you have the one with the smart key where you press the button don't press the brake or clutch pedal if you have all the uh, manual transmission that's the scanner it has the obd function dtc lookup where you can check dtc's okay by uh, let's say by name and it will give you more information and teach you how to fix it the review is the last time we use it on a vehicle guys okay that we used it okay on a volkswagen it has a code p0100 that we fixed just for a few seconds he told us what's wrong with it and you can actually connect it to a printer and print the data as well under setup you can change different settings units and language as well now one cool thing about that scanner okay you can click the i am readiness and it's going to tell you if your vehicle is ready to pass emissions or not depending on the state country where you live for instance in california where we are guys if you have one uh one computer that's not ready you can pass if you don't okay if you have more than one you cannot pass in our case the one with green check means that they're ready to pass emissions the one with the x are not ready so we still have five computers that are not ready we have check engine light on so there is no need to take your vehicle to the okay uh, emission check station because you just waste your money so when you have everything green or just one of them uh, is not ready and you have no engine light on you can go and try to pass emissions now we have okay let's check out the codes so we're going to select here now engine we're going to see uh, let's read the codes first check stored codes i recommend always do that engine coolant temperature sensor okay if you click the question mark here it's going to teach you what it is 40 coolant temperature sensor or open or short in the coolant temperature sen sensor circuit means unplugged or broken cable now <coughs> that's one code we have if you click pending you may have even more no nope, this time is just one permanent codes okay we have two permanent codes one of them okay is about manifold absolute pressure okay that's from another time that was reset now if you click view freeze frame data you can see when it happened okay you can check everything about the engine condition uh, how hot it was rpms load and all that stuff will be everything under there so let's go ahead okay do that quickly okay and you can see here now it indicates everything that you need to know the code okay it, the coolant temperature sensor it says negative 40 degrees today was 30 30 celsius so it's not that okay you can check the map sensor rpms at zero rpm so practically okay that sensor failed on start up immediately guys and we're going to go ahead okay uh, actually replace that sensor and see if that takes care of the problem now so we are reconnecting everything we are practically guys okay ready uh it was uh, it was not a bad sensor it was unplugged wire uh when somebody didn't know change they forgot to do that so i'm going to go ahead okay reconnect it now uh 
um, we have the person reconnecting it now and we'll see if that will take care of the problem now so it's reconnected now what I'm going to do I'll turn the uh, I will start the car okay and you'll see the engine light will still be on okay and a little bit of a slow start engine light stays on but now what you can check guys we're going to reset it okay and here we have a red light we will not pass emissions okay green means we're ready to go we can do live data under live data we can see all the parameters of that engine and we can find out okay uh, if that uh, coolant temperature sensor now is working and then we can reset even the code but you can check all your values for the engine and it will teach you okay everything about diagnostics so we're going to click view data complete data set and here you have one engine la engine code coolant temperature sensor 56 degrees you can open the graph okay and see the graph okay give me a second now i'm going to rev the engine up and okay the coolant temperature will start going up immediately check it out because okay right now it's at 60 degrees due to the fact that we're having the engine you can check the map sensor rpms all that is super responsive as well guys okay you can check all these values pretty easily you can see so definitely definitely great too you can check so many things you can check oxygen sensors if they're working advanced timing the evap system which is super hard to uh, work on by the way it's going to tell you that the uh, 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 the actually the pressure in the evap and all that stuff so i will go ahead turn the car off turn the ignition switch on perfect and what we're going to do now we'll go click erase codes it's erasing now erase done and now if i start that car guys okay the engine light shouldn't be on car started immediately and the light turned itself off so you can see that definitely fixed our problem hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time